wonderful Resurrection Sunday. He got up out of that grave and he lives. Hallelujah, he lives. He lives because he lives. We can face tomorrow. We can face anything, any circumstance. Amen? Because he got up out of that grave with all power. All power. There is nothing too hard for our God. Amen? Amen. The angels rolled the stone away. There's an empty grave. Amen? There's an empty grave this morning. And he lives. He is risen. He's our risen Savior. Amen? He has risen from the dead. Amen? He took the keys of death and Hades. Amen? And he lives and he reigns and he rules supreme. Amen? There is nothing like our God. Hallelujah. We are blessed to be in the land of the living. Amen? We thank you, God, that he died for us. Amen? Unselfishly. Amen? On Calvary, he looked at you. He looked at me. He thought about everybody. Amen? And he died so that you and I might live. Amen? He died so that we would be forgiven for our sins and that we can live with him in eternity. Amen? Hallelujah. That's something to be happy about this morning. The ultimate sacrifice that he did for us because he loved us so much. Amen? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen? Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is his son. Amen? Hallelujah. We believe in the death, the burial, and the resurrection. Amen? We believe that God, that he lives. Amen? We believe that he rules. We believe there's nothing too hard for him. Amen? He holds the future. He holds everything. He holds the whole world in his hands. And everything belongs to him. And we are delighted this morning. You delighted this morning to be in his presence? Are you happy this morning? Are you blessed this morning? Are you thankful this morning? Hallelujah. Let's give a shout of praise this morning. Show them how thankful we are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. We just come to bless you this morning. We come to honor you. We come to worship your holy name, your soul saving name, your wonderful matchless name. Amen. Who can compare to the name of Jesus? No one can compare. Amen. Nothing can compare to our Lord. Amen. Nothing and no one can compare to our wonderful Jesus. There's no name sweeter than his name. The name of Jesus. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess and proclaim that he is Lord. Have you made him your Savior today? Is he Lord over your life? Does he live with you? Does he live in you this morning? Hallelujah. Does he live and get the Spirit living in you this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that he lives in us this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, God, because he lives. Because he lives. Amen? Just say, because he lives. I can do anything. I can do all things. Because he lives. I can fix tomorrow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We're going to go into a word of prayer right now. Father God, we just bless your name this morning. God, we just honor you, God. We thank you, God, for being in the in the in the church, in the in the sanctuary with us this morning, God. We've come with our hearts open, God. We've come, God, expecting a new thing this morning, God. Pour out your spirit upon your people, Jesus. God, make us new, God. Give us a fresh anointing, God. May a fresh wind blow, God in your place this morning, God. So we just bless you. We honor you. Thank you, God. And may the woman of God that's bringing the message this morning, God, God, may she set our souls on fire, God. May she change us, God, the word, God, that she's going to bring, God. May it change us forever, more, God, to glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
you, Jesus, for the year of more, God. That we release everything unto you, oh God. That we lay everything at your feet, oh God. Hallelujah. There is no greater love, hallelujah. There's no greater love like you, Jesus. That you sent your son, Jesus, to die on the cross of us, oh God. We just magnify you, oh God. We just lift up your name, God. We thank you, Jesus, for the people at the hot shop we feel, God. We thank you that they have a mind to worship you and a heart to serve you, oh God. We just thank you for the feminine dynamics that shall be saved, God. Oh, we love you, Jesus. There's no greater love like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's worship God on this morning. Hallelujah. Because he rose. He rose so that we may live. Hallelujah. That we may receive his hand, oh God. And what is that hand? That hand of salvation, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, that we stand on the strong foundation, oh God. We just glorify you, oh God. That we gonna trust you in spite of what the circumstances is, God. That we gonna trust you.
Hallelujah. Glory Praise to God. Hallelujah. Our Redeemer lives. Amen. Our Redeemer. He lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What an awesome God we serve. Amen. What an awesome God. What an awesome God. None can compare to him and his goodness. What an awesome sacrifice. Hallelujah. There is no greater love than the love of God. Hallelujah. He saw us at Calvary and said, and he said, what? I'm going to do it for them because I love them. Amen. He loves us. Amen. Our filthy rags. Amen. Every time we mess up, he still loves us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. No greater love. It's one of my favorite songs. No greater love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're going to move on to our Tithes and offerings, amen? We're still going to worship God, amen? We're going to bless them what he has blessed us with, amen? We're going to give them a, a 10% of what he has given us. We're going to give right on back to him. Hallelujah. There are several ways that you can give to God's Eye Ministries. And the first way is our website, which is www.godsideministries.org. The second way is Cash App, which is um, the cash handle, God's Eye Men. You can also um, download Giveify and search for or put in Gaza Ministries, and you'll see us there. You can also mail it to us at P.O. Box 20781, Greensboro, North Carolina, 27420. Amen? Amen. Amen. You all ready for the word? Yes. Hallelujah. I tell you, every time this woman comes and take this pulpit, fire. fire comes, fire comes, amen. She is an awesome woman of God, a God who, a woman who loves God with all her heart and is so evident, the love God that she shows towards your people. So let's stand up and let's give Prophetess Linda Mangum a woman. You all say preach, 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 teach us. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on and bless us this morning. Hallelujah. Nothing but 
God. Amen. So I have to celebrate him this morning. I have to say thank you, Lord, that you laid down your life for a friend, that you rose up on the third day, that the grave could not hold you down because of all you've done for me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I know what it's like. Amen. Hallelujah. I know what it is to struggle. Hallelujah. I know when you go outside and look for that last $5 bill. Amen. That you thought you lost. But guess what? God is an awesome God. Because I looked everywhere high and low. But you know what? When I looked over, that $5 bill was blowing on top of a bush. And it wasn't there when I went out and looked at it before. Hallelujah. Amen. I've been right here with $2 
Amen. This scripture is simply saying that the Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead will do the same for us who are in Christ. And that spirit is on the inside of us. Yeah. Let's go to Philippians chapter 3, verse 10. Philippi Philippians chapter 3, verse 10. Amen. Paul wanted to, to say he wanted to know the power and the resurrection of, of, of Jesus. Amen. It says that I may know him and the power of his what? Resurrection. resurrection. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Paul is actually saying he wants to experience Jesus yeah. and the resurrection power that raised Jesus up. Paul wanted to gain everything about Christ. Yeah. He counted his education and his status in life as dumb, rubbish, worthless in comparison of gaining Christ and all that Christ is. Paul wanted the resurrection power so that he could die to himself instead of living his worldly desires every day yeah. so that he could live for Christ and do everything that Christ wanted him to do yeah. that would glorify God. Don't you know God has something for you to do to glorify him? Yeah. Many people are saved, but they are not all operating in the fullness of the power that resurrected Jesus from the dead that has been given to us. This resurrection power is in us right now. Say right now. Right now. If Jesus is your Lord and Savior, it's in you right now. Paul did not want to just wait for the rapture to be resurrected from the dead. He wanted to experience the power now. Say the power now. The, power now. the anointing, the power of Jesus' resurrection that you have received from him abides in you now. Amen. It is there to remove burdens and to destroy yokes. Jesus said, he who believes in me, the work that I do, he will also do. And greater works than these he will do. That's according to John 14, verse 12. See, that word power in the Greek means dunamis. It means that it's explosive power. It is where we get the word dynamite. Resurrection power is explosive. It can tear up some things. It can destroy some things. See, this resurrection power changes things. It overcomes sin and temptation. And when Jesus rose from the dead after being crucified, he defeated death and the grave. Yeah. Satan was defeated, conquered, and placed under Jesus' feet. Amen? Yeah. Say, he's under my feet. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. This is what resurrection power means. Satan has no power over you and me unless you give him that power. Uh -huh. And he has no authority unless we give it to him. Right. We are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Yeah. See, this doing this power, this explosive power has the ability to impact our past, present, and future. See, this power we can experience in our lives every day. Yeah. This resurrection power gives us expectation and hope. Yeah. Jeremiah 29, 11. You all know this, but you can turn there if you like. Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, and this is God speaking. He says, for I know the thoughts that I think yeah. towards you says the Lord. Yeah. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you what kind of end? An expected end. Hallelujah. This is God's expectation for us as a future and a hope. This is what he placed on us. Through the resurrection power we have the ability to do more and go higher in God. When Moses told the children of Israel he was going to lead them out of Egypt, the people's expectations of Moses were small. And they did not expect him to accomplish anything. But God chose Moses. Moses, operating under God's authority, which is God's power, was able to do more than he even thought that he could do. And God took him higher. Say, I want to go, go higher. Don't you want to go higher? Yes. Hallelujah. Don't you want to do more? Yes. Ephesians 3.20 tells us that we can do more yes. than we ask or think according to the power that it works on the inside of us. That's that explosive power. Yes. Amen. So God is the one who takes us what? higher. God does not call the called qualified, but he qualifies the called. Yes. He qualifies the chosen. Yes. He chooses us to do more and to go yes. higher. Yes. God knew what Moses was perfected for. Yes. God knows what you are perfected for. Yes. Say, I'm perfected for God. Say, I'm perfected to do what God wants me to do. See, your gifts, talents, and abilities are given to you because
because it is what you are perfect for. Yes. See, what God is giving you is not a mistake. Yes. You may say you cannot do that, but it is what God said you can do. Yes. When God told Moses his expectations of him, Moses told God all the reasons why he was not qualified. Uh -huh. Moses said, it's my speech. You know, he stuttered. Yeah. Then he told God, he said, the people are not going to listen to me. Yeah. And then he said, ask God, uh, can it be somebody else? Uh -huh. Could he just not find somebody else to do it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. Well, don't you hear that sometimes? Uh -huh. Pastor Lord, Elder Lord, can you find somebody else to do it? Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yeah. God did not change his mind, amen, to using Moses. He had his own expectations of Moses. God has not changed his mind about you. What he is expecting from you. God took Moses higher than what Moses declared should disqualify him. God will take you higher than what you think. God will take you higher than what others think about you. He will take you higher than your circumstances. He will take you higher than the limitations of this world. So don't limit yourself by this world's philosophy. Don't let people put you in a box. Amen. Two years ago, my husband and I, we bought a new house. I came, I was talking to a man at work who already retired. He said, I thought old, older people, I said old people, older people could not buy a house. I said, who you been listening to? I listened to my God. I don't know what you, who you been talking to, but nothing's impossible for the Lord. And the angel don't have nothing to do with God's going to do. Guess what? Next thing I know, he done bought him a new house. God, amen, hallelujah. See, God led Moses, blessed him, and gave him wisdom, and everything he needed to accomplish his assignment. God did not change his mind about Moses because he was frail and had issues or made mistakes in life. Why? Because God knew what his power would do. Yeah. That resurrection power, amen, yeah. hallelujah, would do in, in and through Moses. Yeah. God knows what the resurrection power will do in your life. Yeah. Resurrection power gives us the ability to accomplish the goal that God has set for us. Yeah. God wants you to let this power work in you that is already on the inside of you. Yeah. Amen. You got to start coming to a revelation. I understand. That power is on the inside of me. Yeah. I can do what God say I can do. Yeah. I can have what God say I can have. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Moses accomplished much. And we can accomplish much and much more. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, if you abide in me and I in you, you will bring forth what? Much fruit. Resurrection power gives us the ability to press on. Yeah. We know that Pharaoh would not let Moses leave with the people. He gave Moses a hard time. See, life has given us a hard time. Yeah. Life has given us a hard time, yeah. and life will give us a hard time. Yeah. Amen. I keep hearing about turbulent times are coming. Amen. But look, it should not affect us pressing on because God is with us and his power is working on the inside of us to help us to stand. Amen. Hallelujah. We stand and all we do is what? Stand. Helping us to move on. Pharaoh did not expect Moses to pull off getting the people out of Egypt. But Moses kept believing God. He kept focusing, staying his focus on God and the task. Moses kept pressing. Don't you know that our people who don't expect you to pull off what your dreams and visions, there are people who don't expect much from you. They expect you to not press. They don't expect you to pull off what God has called you to do, to pull off living a holy and godly Christian life. I don't need you to believe in me as long as I got God on my side. As long as God is believing in me, that's all I need. Amen? To pull off living a godly and holy Christian life, I don't need anybody else. Amen? He has given me everything I need to go forward and make it to the finish line. Say, I'm going to go to the finish line. I'm going to go to the finish line. Amen. Moses trusted God. Yes. He pressed forward. Paul said, I press toward the goal of Christ for the prize. Say, I want the prize. I want the prize. Say, I'm going to get the prize. I'm going to get the prize. Amen. Hallelujah. Pressing means to continue. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Continue in your faith. Continue in your service. Continue to trust God. Continue to believe. Stay focused on him. It takes strength. Yeah, I know that. But it takes work. Yes, I know that. 
But guess what? We have the same power. Because yeah. that power is working on the inside of us. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. God is on our side to provide the strength that we need. Yeah. I can do all things through Christ. Because yeah. why? He strengthens me. Yeah. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. So I can operate. I will operate in the resurrection power. Won't you? Yeah. Every day of my life. Amen. Yeah. Resurrection power is help from God. Psalms 121, verses 1 through 2. Psalms 121, verses 1 through 2. We say this scripture all the time. Amen. It says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made what? Heaven and earth. Then Isaiah 41, uh, verse 10 says this. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. It says this. Fear thou not. For I am what? With thee. Be not dismayed. For I am what? Thy God. Yeah. I will strengthen thee, yea. I will help thee. Did he say I'll help you? Yeah. Amen. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Yeah. Hallelujah. God helped Moses yeah. every day in various situations, in yeah. various circumstances. Yeah. He helped Moses in the battle. He counseled Moses. He led Moses. He told him what to say and what to do. God can do the same for you and me. Yeah. Amen. Moses performed signs and miracles. God gave him help through Aaron. See, God puts people around us to help us, yeah. along with giving us the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So God provided Moses with what he needed to have the ability to do what God assigned him to do. Yeah. We know that Moses, with God's help, led the Israelites out of Egypt. Didn't he accomplish his task? Yeah. Yes, he did. And he accomplished, amen, that task, amen, with the help of the Lord. I declare and decree that we will accomplish our task. Yeah. I declare and decree that we have people assigned to help us to do what we need to do. I decree and declare that we will receive our crown. Because yeah. God is with us. Yeah. The power to do it is on the inside of us. Yeah. Because again, Ephesians 3.20 says, Now unto him that is able to do, exceeding abundantly. Who is that person that's able to do? More than we could ever ask or think. That name is God. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. He's God all by himself. He's yeah. God unlimited God. Yeah. Amen. There's nothing that can hold him back. When he makes up his mind and he's going to do something, it's a done deal. Amen. He has everlasting power. It's not limited. Amen. It doesn't work over here and don't work over there. It works all the time. It worked in the past. It works in the present. And it will work in the future. Because God is trying to take us somewhere. He's trying to take us higher in him. He's not trying to leave us back and leave us behind. He didn't forget about you. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord say, I didn't forget about you. You might have thought you were forgotten about, but you are not, were not forgotten about. You better to tune in. Amen. You need to plug up. Amen. Hallelujah. You need to do what you need to do to find out what he's got for you. Because he's not ready to turn you a loose. God's not going to turn you a loose. He's not going to look the other way. You might as well make up your mind that you're going to follow him. Because, amen, hallelujah, it's time to take up your cross. It's time to follow him and deny yourself. Because God got something for you. Amen. If you just allow him to be God in your life, you're going to see something, hallelujah. You smile if you want to, sweetie, but he got something great for you. He's going to take you higher, amen, hallelujah. Amen. And he's going to put a joy on you like you've never seen before. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the God. The resurrection power gives us the ability to move forward, to accomplish what God expects us to do. See, he's got an expectation for us. He's expecting us to do some things. He's expecting us to explode some things. He's expecting us to tear down. Amen. He's expecting us to pull up. Amen. He's expecting us to weed out. Amen. He's expecting us to bring in. Hallelujah. He's got it all figured out. Hallelujah. Resurrection power gives us a new life. It erased the past mistakes and sins we committed and made us brand new. Say, I'm brand new. He gave me a new life. Amen. A new beginning. Amen. He gave me a do-over. Hallelujah. A new life to live in the resurrection power that is present now and in your future. The new life gives us an inheritance that is loaded with benefits. This new life will not let us down. 
God gave Moses a new beginning. Yeah. Moses had killed an Egyptian, and then he buried him, hoping nobody find out. But it was discovered, and Moses was afraid. But you might be afraid of your past, that someone's going to find you out. But God is not looking at your past. Amen. He's not looking to expose you. He already knows what you have done. But he always also knows what you can do. Amen. Under the resurrection power, your past mistakes and sins have been given and remembered no more. God is focusing on the expectation that he has for you. God is looking for what you're going to do. He said, Peter, do you love me more than these? Do you love me more than these fish? Amen. Do you love me more than your business? Do you love me more than thinking about what you did and what you didn't do? Amen. And trust me so that I can move you forward. Amen. I ain't got work for you to do. I ain't got time for you to be playing with no fish. Amen. I got an expectation for you. I'm taking you somewhere. Don't you know God is taking you somewhere? Don't have nothing to do with your age. Don't have nothing to do with side of the track you came from. It's what you gonna let God do in you. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul got a new beginning. Paul got a new life. He was no longer Saul, but he became Paul. The one who wanted to know and experience Jesus and his resurrection power that raised Jesus from the dead. And Saul, he was killing Christians. But his mistake was forgiven and forgotten. He had become a brand new creature. Matter of fact, he became a Christian. Jesus had expectations for him. Amen. He said, when I knocked you off the on Damascus Trail, he said, I got something for you. I got some expectations for you. Amen. Good. Turn and tune into me. Abide in me. Let me show you what I got for you. Amen. It's going to be something greater than what you think of. Amen. It's going to be something greater than what you've been doing. Amen. That's why he said, I count it all rubbish. Don't mean a thing. Amen. What I have. My worldly possessions. I got a lay hold of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have been given a new beginning and where our past mistakes and failures are forgiven and forgotten. Amen. We are raised up in a new life. Amen. That resurrection power gives hope. Amen. The resurrection of Jesus shows that there is no case that is hopeless. Amen. And no problem that God cannot and will not fix. Paul was confident in the resurrection power since it was the ability to raise dead things to life. Jesus was raised out of death and came alive. God can raise any dead situation out of his death. He can put life back in your life. He can put life back in your marriage. He can put life back in your home. He can put life back in your children. He can rescue, restore, give peace and joy, heal sickness and diseases, bring to life whatever you may be going through that appears dead. God can handle a dead situation. It might look hopeless, but it's not in the power of God. It might look like it does not have any life, but it's due in the power of God. It might look like there's no future, but the power of God, amen, can raise us out of the dead. So I ask you, what is a dead situation in the hand of God? The answer is nothing. Nothing is too hard for God, and nothing is too impossible for him. There is always hope in Jesus. All things are possible with him. God took the deadness of Sarah, Elizabeth, and Hannah and brought forth life. He called Sarah and Abraham to be alive, what was dead to produce. It might look dead to you, but there is life in the power of God. He makes alive. Amen. God brought life to many in the Bible. It does not matter the length of time. They had been dead. Martha was concerned about how long Lazarus was dead. She thought Lazarus was at the point of no return. But Jesus showed up. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes we think our issues are at a point of no return. But Jesus shows up. Amen. And he raised Lazarus up and made him what? Alive. Jesus told Martha in John chapter 11, verse 25. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. He who believes in me will live, even though he dies. Amen. That's not, not a dead thing that God cannot do. He can handle it. Amen. Listen, the child issue is not dead. That marriage issue is not dead. Your sickness and disease is not dead. Hallelujah. It's not dead. 1 John 5, 12 says, whoever has the Son, what? Has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have what? Life. But we have been made alive to the things 
of God. Hallelujah, you ought to give a hand clap on that right there. Because you are alive in Jesus Christ. We are alive and not dead. We are alive to do great accomplishments. God wants to take you higher in him. Stop living in your inadequacies. Stop living in your past mistakes and hurts. Stop living in your what ifs. What ifs, amen, amen. What ifs are past. Nothing you can do about that. Amen. So stop saying what if. Don't even look at it for your future. What if? What if that happens? What if that? That ain't nothing but fear and doubt. You got to be a people of faith. Amen. You got to believe that your God can handle it all. Hallelujah. So stop living in your weaknesses. But know Jesus and the resurrection power. His power is able. Jesus is raised by the Spirit of God. And that same Spirit dwells in us and will give life to our mortal bodies to make us bold and courageous, to produce signs and wonders and miracles. Amen. Hallelujah. You are a miracle, and you got a miracle on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. To operate in our gifts and our calling, to glorify God, live in the expectation of God. Nothing can compare to God's power that works in us. Amen. Philippians chapter 2, 13. It says this, God who is at work in you has both to will and to work for his good pleasure. That work is through his power. Amen. He is our hope and our company. So God is at work in our lives. He knows our weaknesses and limitations. He knows our capabilities. He knows our capacity. But he is still working in and through us. Amen. Hallelujah. We ain't, nothing about us can stop the Lord, what he wants to do in our lives. Hallelujah. God is at work in our lives, and he knows our weaknesses and limitations. He knows what we are, where we are, what we've done. He knows what we're going to do. Because we're going to make some old mistakes. We're going to make some. But I thank God. I thank him that he's on the throne. I thank Jesus that he's alive. I thank you that he laid down his life for me. He called me a friend. Hallelujah, amen. There's three things I'm going to leave you with to activate that power on the inside of you. First, you've got to believe. You've got to activate that resurrection power when you let Jesus Christ into your life as your Lord and Savior by faith. Then you've got to believe that you've got the power on the inside of you. Amen. No longer, no longer for us to be silent. Amen. We need to start speaking to things. We need to speak. That's the other thing. Number two, you got to do. You got to speak to it. You got to use the faith of filled words of God. Amen. And you got to speak to that thing. Amen. Hallelujah. It's got to speak to that thing. Stop saying it's going to happen one day. Stop saying it's going to happen tomorrow. Stop talking about your pains and your aches. Listen, talk about the goodness of the Lord. Talk about God is able. God will do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Speak to it. Say you are alive. You're not a dead thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Say you might put your hands on my children, but you don't have my children. They, they belong to God Almighty. Amen. Hallelujah. And I speak the life over them. I speak the word of God over them and over this situation. Amen. Then you have to act on it. That's number three. Act on it. Even though Satan is defeated, he still comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So we have to act by faith. Amen. We have to act by faith. We can't believe, amen, everything that the enemy brings to our mind. We can't believe everything of the philosophy of the world. Amen. We got to believe what the word says. What does the word say? What does the word say about that? Amen. And then I got to act on it. I can't just speak it and say I don't believe it. I got to act on it. I got to do something. The woman with the 12 inches of blood, amen. 12 years of issue of blood, amen. She said, if I can touch the hem of his garment. Yeah. Most of us would say that and walk off. But she didn't do it. She went right over there to him and touched his, touch his clothes, amen. You're going to have to do something. You're going to have to act like something, amen. Hallelujah. I refuse to say, devil, you are liar. I said, you are liar. You ain't going to take my risk today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I looked that thing up. They said, if you, if you sprain or bruise your, your wrist, it takes two to six weeks. I said, that's a lie. That ain't going to happen to me. Amen. I'm healed right now. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm healed. Amen. But I got to use in my hand. So the devil is a lie. Amen. You got to act out in faith. Amen. Praise the Lord. Peter told the man with the, at the beggar, he said, you know, I don't have any money to give you, but what I have, he said, I'll give it to you in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. He said, rise up and walk. And the man got up and he walked. He walked. 
Amen. We got to believe. Amen. We got to believe and we got to act on it. And Peter told the people, he said, it wasn't my power, but it was God's power working in me. You got to understand that power that's working on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He is risen. He's alive. Amen. And you know what? What about our God? He hears, he speaks, and he moves. He's not a statue. He's not made of wood. He's not stationary. Amen. He's a God who lives. He's a God who is alive. And he's got you in his hand. He's got you in his mind. He got you. Amen. Hallelujah. He knows you. Don't think he doesn't know you, because he do. Yeah. He's just waiting. But let's not keep him waiting long. Let's step up and step out. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. I pray for revival. Yeah. I pray for revival. I pray for a spiritual awakening. Yeah. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. That we come alive in the things of God. Yeah. I pray that he take the scales off the eyes of people. Amen. Yeah. So they can see. Amen. And know Jesus for a truth. Yeah. Know him for a truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just pray. Father God, we just thank you for this afternoon of, a, of your releasing your power in this place today, God. We, as we came and worship and praise you this morning, Lord. Father, we thank you that no concerns or problems or attacks of the enemy will prosper in our lives in Jesus' name. We are pressing forward to accomplish all that you have expected us to do, Lord. Amen. So that we may glorify you, God. That you may be lifted up and draw all men unto you. We thank you that you make all things new. We thank you for the victory that we have today, God. Your power is working in us, Lord. So greater is you. Greater are you that is in us than he that is in the world. And we thank your son, Jesus, for who is alive and who gave up his life for us, God. We thank you, Lord. We love you for all our heart, our mind, our strength, our soul. We thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. If you're in here today, the resurrection power can heal you if you need prayer for healing, if you need prayer for anything. Amen. The, the Lord is in this house today. Amen. He did not leave us out of this service. So if you're in here today and you desire to be prayer, amen, we're glad to pray for you. Those of you that are walking, watching by Facebook, and those of you that are in here, if you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, today is the day of salvation. You know, uh, the, the, when Jesus was made him, was on earth, the people rejected him. They didn't, they didn't recognize that it was their time of his visitation. But after this resurrection, there's still a time of visitation. So today is the day of salvation. And if you're in here today and you haven't received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you're watching and you haven't received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, today is the day. Amen? Amen. Just let's, let's just pray. Say, Father, I thank you for your son Jesus and all that he did for me on the cross. Jesus, come into my heart and save me. And I thank you that I will walk in your power will work in me. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he lives. Because he lives, 
Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. I hope you got something out of the message today on this Resurrection Sunday. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, to all of you that are watching today, we say thank you for tuning in to God's Eye Ministry with Pastor Yvette and Elder Maurice Lowe and the church family here. Amen. We are here today loving on the Lord and loving on you. So you need to come and join us so you can know what it's like to be in the midst of the Lord. Amen. Right here where the power of God is moving. So we thank you for, for tuning in today. Join us again next Sunday morning at 730. Uh, you can also come to um, Bible study on Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock. And we also have invitation to prayer every uh, day, Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. You can go to the website and look up uh, the services. And you can get all that information there. Amen. Amen, because we welcome you to be a part of God's eye ministry. So we say to you, good day. Hope you have a joyful rest of the day. May God's countenance shine upon you and keep you in peace in Jesus' name. And everyone say amen. Amen, amen and amen. Hallelujah. You're just in grace and peace. <laughs>